Hello everybody, welcome to Common Sense Academy. Today we are going to watch a video of a Moorish sovereign citizen being arraigned in court. Uh, my last video that I posted was about a Moorish sovereign citizen fleeing from police and someone in the comments posted a video of allegedly this same individual being arraigned in court. Now I looked um, I, I watched this video. It appears that it may be the same guy, okay? But it looks like this court arraignment was a couple of years ago, back in like 2017 or 2018. The video that I just posted, take a look at it, more sovereign citizen flees from police. That was a recent event. It happened like a week ago. This guy was uh, engaged in a high-speed chase and then was pulled over by the police. And he said he was Moorish and sovereign citizen. Law doesn't apply to me. Da 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 da. And then I found this video of the arraignment. Looks like same guy, okay, but different, uh, different court procedure. And he's charged with different things. That's what really gave it away to me. So we're gonna watch the video, and then I'm gonna do some analysis afterwards. Free, feel free to stay around. You can learn something from the video, and we can have a couple of laughs. Thank you for joining me. I'm Joe Palmetto, the host of the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, a free way to support the show is to subscribe, like, comment, and share. That pumps me up with YouTube, incentivizes me to make more videos. Also, I have a Patreon. The link for the Patreon is below. If you're already on Patreon, drop me a couple of dollars a month, okay? All the money I make goes to, to freeing up more time for me to make more videos like this that you love. Um, I got another channel called Joe the Lawyer. I want to pump up all this. I love making this content. I'd like to do more of it, um, but it, it's got to be profitable for me. But remember, this content will always remain free. And before we begin, let's do let's do our favorite here. Uh, you know, I got my my killer beverage, the uh, Diet Coke. Let's hope you have your killer beverage. It could be vodka. It could be uh, it could be beer. It could be wine. It could be cyanide. The the Diet Coke is probably worse than all of them. Cheers. Let's watch. out of this courtroom. I'm denying that because what you have said here shows you that are you in have violation. No understanding. You're in violation of my of rights. The oath that you took, you're in violation of. I am demanding my Sixth Amendment right to go pro se, and I would like this attorney out of this courtroom. I understand your request, and I respect that you think that you understand this process. Clearly, you, my respect remarks, me, Your Honor. you do not understand, and I am duty bound to make sure that you understand before I allow you to go. I perfectly it. understand. We established and that the last time I was here. Well, <laughs> clearly, your remarks today suggest otherwise. Um, according to you, uh, not according to the law. We're talking true. about the law, we're talking about rights. We're not talking about what you think. We're talking about what you is right, you can fully mine. And that's what we're talking about here today. And that's what you're supposed to be talking about here today. Mr. Luther, you may proceed. Thank you. Uh, Judge, I had read the information in file 17 CF 1013. The information is comprised of two counts of fraud against a financial institution. I'm going to read those elements and I'll make the elections that are required that I think are that fit the proof that the state has. Um, number one. The defendant, Gregory Rayel, obtained money owned by or under the control, custody or control of a financial institution. Finance, a financial institution means a bank or a credit union chartered under the laws of this state, another state or territory, or under the laws of the United States. Element number two, the defendant, Gregory Rayel, obtained uh, by means of false pretenses or by use of any fraudulent um, money or a monetary instrument. Um, a person obtains money by means of false pretenses or by use of any fraudulent scheme when, with knowledge uh, that it is false, 
and, do, and they act with intent to obtain money. And finally, it says, if you're satisfied beyond a reasonable doubt that both elements of this offense have been proved, you should find the defendant guilty. If you're not so satisfied, you must find the defendant not guilty. In that, uh, those elements are uh, elements that apply to both counts one and two in that yes. information? Yes, those would be elements uh, that would fit for counts one and two. The defendant's charged as a party to the crime, but I don't know that that's particularly relevant. He was a principal actor in this, in this uh, with the, the, the state's evidence will show that he was a, a principal actor. Thank you. And then if you can uh, read to Mr. Rayel the information in the other file and then indicate the elements as the state intends to prove them. All right. I object. <laughs> I, John Butcher, to these readings, Assistant Your Honor. District Attorney for Brown County, Wisconsin, do not understand. hereby inform the court that Count 1, the above named defendant, on or about Tuesday, October 10, 2017, in the city of Green Bay, Brown County, Wisconsin, did intentionally cause bodily harm to Dan Magnan, a law enforcement officer, without his consent. And at the time of the act, the defendant knew or should have known that Dan, Dan Magnan was a law enforcement officer, and the act was in response to any action taken by a law enforcement officer in an official capacity, contrary to Section 940.203, Parent 2, Wisconsin Statutes, a Class H felony. And upon conviction, the defendant may be fined not more than $10,000 or imprisoned not more than six years or both. Count two, the above named defendant on or about Tuesday, October 10, 2017, in the city of Green Bay, Brown County, Wisconsin, did knowingly resist an officer while such officer was doing an act in an official capacity and with lawful authority to wit arresting him. Contrary to section 946.41, parent one, Wisconsin statutes, a class A misdemeanor, and upon conviction, the defendant may be fined not more than $10,000 or in prison not more than nine months or both. Count three, the above named defendant, Gregory Rahal, on or about Tuesday, October 10, 2017, in the city of Green Bay, Brown County, Wisconsin, having been charged with a felony and having been released from custody under Chapter 969 Wisconsin statutes, did intentionally fail to comply with the terms of his bond contrary to section 946.49, parent 1, parent B, Wisconsin statutes, a class H felony, and upon conviction may be fined not more than $10,000 or in prison, not more than six years or both. That's, uh, that's it. Thank you. And if you can identify the elements for each of those offenses, please. Yes. Well, I'm reading directly from uh, 1240C, which is the pattern jury instruction for battery to a law enforcement officer. Element number one that the state must prove the defendant caused bodily harm to, in this case, Dan Magnet. Cause means that the defendant's conduct was a substantial factor in producing bodily harm. Bodily harm means physical pain or injury, illness, or any impairment of physical condition. Element number two. Dan Magnan was a law enforcement officer. Has uh, stood quietly uh, and appropriately uh, during that time. Um, he is accompanied by officers here today. Um, Mr. Rayl, uh, have you heard the presentation that the state has made with respect to the information and to those elements? I do not consent to the reading of those charges the state's attorney, I would love the state's attorney to prove to me that he has legal authorization to even charge me with any crime. Um, I've heard his, his, his uh, uh, gibberish, as you, as you put it, and I would like to myself, and for the record, I demand that all oral, verbal, written, signed contracts, law, etc. that I have entered into with this court, signed, spoken, be revoked, stricken from all records. I do not wish to enter any further any contracts, laws, statutes, rules, regulations, or codes orally, verbally, 
and or written with or without my knowledge doing these proceedings. Okay, there's a lot to go into with this one, ladies and gentlemen, a lot to go into. Let's start out, uh, this individual keeps saying um, that, you know, it, he has a right to proceed pro se. He has a right to proce proceed pro se. Pro se means proceeding without an attorney. He is absolutely correct. He does have a right to proceed pro se. However, he does not have a right to proceed pro se without an attorney until the judge reads him his rights and the, the other things that the judge needs to read in order to move the case forward without a lawyer. The judge has certain rules and procedures he has to follow. So can't you just stand there quietly while the, ju the, the judge does his freaking job and then you can go ahead and proceed pro se. Um, he just, he didn't want it. He didn't want it. He wanted his attorney, that public defender. He wanted him out of there. I don't want this guy sitting next to him. Okay. Public defender is not even speaking. Okay, he's not even speaking. He's sitting there because the judge wants him there, and he's got to make sure his boss doesn't get mad at him. He's sitting there doing his job. So then this individual objects to the actual reading, objects to the actual reading. Uh, it, it, here's news for you, sir. This is not your proceeding, okay? You can maybe go and set up one of these little corporate courts uh, that the sovereign citizens have online, and you can run the show where everybody believes in the nonsense. But you're in there. You're not running the show, all right? Let let these other people do their job and open their mouths. You have a chance to defend yourself, pro se. Okay, the other thing, this guy's standing the whole time. He doesn't need to stand there the whole time. I guess maybe he thinks if he sits down, he's giving jurisdiction to the court since they don't already have it. Um, he just could not stop saying he doesn't consent. Here's the problem. You're way, you're way beyond consenting. Consenting happens when you're stopped and they're, they want to search your vehicle. That's when you don't consent. There's nothing to consent to when you're standing there and being arraigned. Okay, uh, he says that they don't have the legal authority to drop charges on him. Uh, well, like I've said in other videos, as long as the judge uh, commands a small army of armed men known as sheriff's deputies, he's going to have the authority to do those things. Okay, it's established by United States and state law. We all have to follow those rules, whether we like them or not. All right. And so it's going to happen whether you want it to or you don't want it to call your politician to get the laws changed. Of course, they want to live in a, a lawless land. I don't know, like Somalia, maybe. Um, he tells the court that uh, they're just talk, talking gibberish. Da, 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 da. I enjoyed his little speech at the end um, where he said all contracts were revoked. Guess what, sir? You haven't made a single contract, okay? The only contract you're going to make during that time is if you enter into a plea agreement. And that's a contract that either party can revoke up and until it's it's uh, the case is resolved and you put in a plea. Uh, I tried to figure out what his charges were. It looked like there were two incidents. One of them was obtained money under false pretenses. That can be a, an individual charge in, in and of itself under false pretenses, fraud of theft, okay? And then, uh, so there was like one or two fraud theft type charges. Then it looked like a felony battery to law enforcement and a felony bond violation. I imagine the felony battery was him resisting arrest whenever they came to arrest him, which if if you watch the most recent video is something he tends to do as he just put the police on a high-speed chase uh, hit two of them with his car he's probably looking at some serious time because you know if this arraignment happened back in 2017 and now he's running from the police in 2019 you can bet your butt that uh, he's looking he's looking to get slammed even harder so you know I found his little speech about the contracts comical you can see him looking down and reading from it you know, the common sensors, this stuff's all over the internet. It's out there. He might have paid money for that. He may have paid money for that. And guess what? At the end of the day, it's not going to get him anywhere. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Joe Pometto, the host of Common Sense Academy. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. It's a free way to support my content. I also have a Patreon. I would, I would, um, be grateful for any type of donation, one dollar, a couple dollars a month. It helps me free up more time to make these videos. I want to keep pumping them out at the same rate that you can 
uh, consume them. However, the content will always remain free. Thank you very much. Common Sense out.